Here now is number eight in the race. This is our mana, Colin de Filippi of Christchurch, the trainer, and he will also drive the horse. And uh, he gives uh, Mrs. Jenny Barron a big chance in tonight's Auckland Cup. Well, our mana, the winner of 13 races, and uh, third, first, second, second, they don't come much more consistent than this fellow. Followed Royden Glen home a couple of times, sat on his back and just couldn't run past him. Uh, Colin said earlier tonight he thought the same thing might happen again, but in terms of gameness and consistency, our mana must be certainly one of the trifecta anchors for sure. Jenny Barron told me just a few minutes ago that uh, three of the most determined television viewers tonight will be her two sons and one daughter, who I understand uh, fixed very close to the set and uh, watching tonight's race. So let's hope for their sake our mana does well. Number eight. Now, Comedy Lad is number five, and uh, what a thrill it would give Max Harvey, the sponsor of tonight's race. If number five, Comedy Lad, could win it, he's trained by the top combination, Roy and Barry Purden, tonight to be driven by Owen Purden. And, of course, Comedy Lad, another four-year-old, and this is his stiffest test as well. Four-year-olds don't often contest the Auckland Cup, but, of course, in previous years when it was a two-mile handicap, it was a pretty tall order. It's still a tough test at 2,700 mobile, but Comedy Lad has hardly been out of the money in all of his 31 starts. He said 13 wins, 9 seconds and 4 thirds, and that says volumes for that horse's gameness and toughness. Well, a top northern chance indeed, comedy lad. Uh, let's uh, see the field as they parade, and uh, it won't be, in fact, all that long before they're underway here at Alexandra Park. Starter has been given the all clear. Nice shot there, Philip, at the moment of Clark of the course, Alex McDonald, resplendent on his uh, beautiful black horse there. And those uh, thoroughbred followers who are here tonight would be interested to know that that is, in fact, Shifnal Chief, a top performer from a few years ago. What a great performer he was. Uh, number one is Tapuki Expects, just moving round there. George and Jim Cole of QMU, the trainers. Jim Cole to drive in tonight's race. And Tapuki expects run his first quarter in about 26 seconds at Addington in November. He's got the draw to take advantage of that early speed and will right, again endeavour to make things course, tough for the favourite Gordon Glenn. Front row, just make sure you're all up onto the gate as we go. Second row, be ready. Number nine, you bring them to the outside when you get here this time. Official starter at the Front park is John Gavin. Gavin. That's the out. voice you will hear as number 11, right, Strident, the moves round. Murray McMillan of QMU is the trainer, right, Peter Young to drive, drivers, and uh, a little bit of, uh, well, might have a bit of a job here ahead of it, I think, Strident in tonight's company. Great thrill for Murray McMillan, the first horse he's ever right, trained, right, and he gets a start in the Auckland Cup. What an achievement that is. Well, there we are, number 14 Enterprise, the winner of last year's Auckland Trotting Cup, who tonight will take out this $200,000 prize. And, you know, dollar for dollar, it's the richest harness race in Australasia. So it's certainly a race of class and stature. Can number seven, Royden Glenn, the horse that is so keen to go, look at him right up there against the barrier, can he give Roy McKenzie another Auckland Cup win tonight? We'll find out in a moment as we rejoin our commentator, Reg Clapp. Runner and comedy lad. They're moving in at a good pace. Our mana hanging back. Here they go. They're right up on the gate, Royden Glen. Here they go. Racing this time. And the McTarvey Auckland Cup fell their way and double came the first to break the line with Royden Glen trapped out wide. Deep hooking expects hilarious guest and comedy lad went out well. A good run through by Enterprise in the second row. Met a slight check and then stride it round the outside Barana. They're followed then by Camelot on the outside of Camelot. Premiership, our man of Mighty Me. And they're followed then by Hands Down and Premiership at the rear. I'll tell you what, Royden Glen hasn't got to the leaders yet. Jack Carmichael and hilarious guest, they hold him out. On the outside, the favourite Royden Glen, the pace torrent at the moment in behind them. Deep hooking expects it gets the trail double cove. He's working to the lead now, the favourite Royden Glen. Hilarious guest, he drops it to get the trail running third or length and a quarter. Deep hooking expects. They're followed then by Comedy Lad. Double Cove trying to get on the fence, then straight and followed by Spanker Ron. They're followed a length and a quarter away. Enterprise about eight lengths off the pace. On the inside of Premiership, round the outside Barana. They're followed by Camelot and Almana. Settle well back as followed by Dee Me. And hands down as at the rear. Down past the 1900, Royden Glen, the leader. A length and a quarter. Hilarious guest gets the perfect trail. A length and a half away in third spot. T Poogie expects a length and a quarter. Comedy Lad on the fence, then to stride it round the outside Barana getting into the 1-1 one, one now is Double Cove locked up on the fence as Banker on on the outside the second favourite Enterprise 1600 to go through on the inside is Premiership on its outside is Camelot 
On the fence to Mighty Me, second last down, Marner and hands down it, brought up the rear. Here to the showgrounds, Van 15 out of the go, and Royd and Glenn the leader. A length and a quarter, Jack Carmichael giving hilarious guest every chance. Hello, Tony Hurley, he's shooting the second favourite enterprise around. They're followed then by Marana. Three back on the inside, Team Pookie expects locked up on the fence, Comedy Land. On they come, past the 1200. Camelot is making a dive at the wide on the track, they're followed by Marana. In behind them, Double Cove, hands down is moving up on the inside to Strident. They're followed by Premiership. Banker on came out rather savagely on the inside to Mighty Me and Almana. They come down a thousand to go. Royd and Glenn are linked on Camelot now facing the breeze. And we've got a Lyrius guest on the fence and locked up to Pookie Expects. In the 1-1 one, one is Enterprise on the outside of those two to hands down. They're followed then on the fence again. Comedy Lad Barana. Wider out to Spanker on. On the fence is Strident. On its outside, Double Cove on the outside of those two Premiership. Second last is Almana and last of all is Mighty Me. Down past the 800 they go and Royd and Glenn the leader. Arlington on Camelot, Delirious Guest. Enterprise still on the 1-1. One, one, moving up hands down on the outside. Locked up on the fence with 600 to go. Cheap Pookie expects on its outside Barana. On the outside of those two, Spanker on. On the fence, the comedy lad. On its outside, Double Cove. Our man is starting to make a bit of a move. Then strike that mighty me. At the 500, Royd and Glenn put two lengths on Camelot. On the inside to Hilarious Guest. Enterprise is struggling. Down to the inside, Team Pookie expects. Onto the lane comes the hottest favourite in years. Royd and Glenn going for his 10th on the end. He's out by four lengths at 200. Hilarious Guest is running second, Team Pookie expects. And Enterprise is having another go. Almana finishing well down the outside. Royd and Glenn, he's starting to stop a bit. Hilarious guest second. Comedy Lad coming out well. Royd around to Almana. But Royd and Glenn has got the cup on as Hilarious guest closed on him. Comedy Lad third, then Marana. Deep Pookie expects Almana. They're followed in by Enterprise, Strider and Spanker on. They're followed by Double Cove on the outside Premiership. Then came Camelot and Mighty Me. And hands down, it pulled up at the rear. Well, he was stopping. Well, what a magnificent effort that was. Once he got to the front, Fred Fletcher just put on scorched earth, catch me if you can tactics, and Royden Glenn lasted, but my goodness me, he was stopping as they got towards the winning post. But what a horse. We just don't know how good this fellow might be. Number seven, Royden Glenn, hottest favourite, I think, since Cardigan Bay has won the cup, but it was a titanic struggle over the last 200 metres. Now let's have a look and see what happened as they're turning for home. Fred Fletcher, the driver, says go boy and they're just coming round the corner. He's put two lengths on them. Hilarious guest is the mare on, down on the inside. Camelot under the stick outside can do no better. They turn for home and here's Royden Glenn in front. He's got three lengths on Hilarious Guest at this stage. Enterprise can do no better, Camelot can do no better. Watch for the run of Comedy Lad, who's just coming down on the inside and eventually he gets third. Our Armada is very wide, Spanker on is wide also. They get down towards the winning post. Fred Fletcher getting anxious at this stage. He's still out by two lengths, but Royden Glenn's just starting to stagger a wee bit. They get down towards the winning post. Royden Glen in front. Hilarious guest closing. Comedy Lad coming home very strongly down on the fence. And that's the way they're going to finish 1, 2 and 3 in the 1985 Auckland Cup. Royden Glen the winner. Hilarious guest would be a game second. Comedy Lad would be third. And it was a decent lineup then for fourth, fifth and sixth. But no doubt the winner. And he gets there by about a length and a quarter. Royden Glen, owned by Roy McKenzie. Trained and driven by Fred Fletcher from Christchurch and completes the triple, winner of the Great Northern Derby, the New Zealand Messenger Championship and the Auckland Cup and emulates the feat of Sapling some four or five years ago. Royden Glen, by smooth fella out of Royden Dream, has just won for his owner $113,750. That's the winning stake and that makes him clearly the winningest four-year-old in the history of trotting in New Zealand. Horses returning to scale. Have the dividends available for you in a moment. No doubt the first three placings. Seven, Royden Glen, the winner. Two, Hilarious Guest is second. And five, Comedy Lad finishes a game third.
Fred Fletcher dismounts. And Murray Steele, well, just going to get a very stable hand, takes over. Fred, uh, what a tremendous performance. What a feeling it must be for you. Yes, good feeling. Uh, with about four or 500 metres to go, you finally just sort of let the brakes go. Was he going just so well? He was going pretty well at that stage. And what about in the latter stages there? Were you worried about what was coming up behind you or did you, you feel you had him? No. I don't know whether I had them or not, but uh, I wasn't that worried. Uh, he felt strong at the time. First time to drive in an Auckland Cup and uh, a win for you. Fred must be personally very exciting. Yes, very good. Yes. Well, the horse has done all the work along with you, so I'm sure you want to go and enjoy it. Thank well, you very much. There we are, down here, Fred Fletcher, and uh, the horse just making his way into the circle. We'll be back in a moment and hopefully be able to speak to the winning owner, Mr. Roy McKenzie. Evidence, Royden Glen, number seven, $1.55 to win, $1.25 the place. Number two, Hilarious Guest, for second, $3.50. Five, Comedy Lad, for third, $3.85. The Quinella, two and seven, paid $13.95. And the Trifecta, seven, two and five, $162.10.